So if you didn't know, in old school Call of Duties, we used to have map packs every year, four per year, where you would pay to get new maps, new zombie maps if it was in the game. And this is how the Call of Duty system worked until Modern Warfare 2019, where it changed and you got all the maps and DLCs for free and everything changed in MW 2019. But the old school map packs and DLCs and how it used to be, it's supposed to come back in MW2, but it's not as simple as that, there's more to it. So I'm going to be explaining it all in this video. So as we know, MW2 is going to be a two year cycle and when it first comes out for the first year, it's going to be like we've had for the last three years. We're going to get the maps for free when they come out and then also we're going to get the battle passes and stuff like that, like we've been having in Call of Duty and Warzone for about three years now. So there's nothing new there, but as we know, this is a two year game, so year two, is where the map packs and season passes and all that stuff is going to come to the game. Because it is rumoured that in the new Call of Duty that's coming out in the year 2 of the game, we're going to get all the old school 2009 MW2 maps returned. So, Terminal, Rust, whatever it is, every old school map will be returning apparently in year 2. Then people are speculating again, it's not 100% confirmed whether this system here will be free or kind of be like a paid DLC to get all these old school maps. But we've actually got a tweet here from the Ghost of Hope, probably the most reliable Call of Duty leaker as to date so far, and he's actually tweeted out exclusive campaign DLC to be released in late 2023 bundled with map pack I leaked previously, because previously he leaked like map packs I could be releasing, which is with all the old school maps which I just talked about, but this is for the campaign as well, so not only we getting season passes and that for the multiplayer, it could also be for the campaign as well, which I'll dive into more in a bit, because that can be a massive controversy within itself, and just it can be a complete change for how we've ever known the campaign to be. So just to clarify, the first year will be normal, like we've had in the Call of Duty for the last three years, all the maps that come out will be free, we'll have our battle passes and stuff like that, no DLCs, but in year two, that's when it's all going to change, we're going to get paid DLCs, paid season passes, and then for the multiplayer and the campaign, and that's kind of in interesting because how is it going to work in the campaign it might completely change up what we've ever known about the campaign is it going to be we're we going to have a legit ending in year one to the because the campaign early release is coming out very very soon so is that going to be a legit ending to the campaign or is it going to leave us in a cliffhanger for year one and on year two it's going to release like the ending or some more missions that you might have to pay for i don't know how it's going to work and nothing is confirmed yet this might not even be true to do with the campaign part, but I don't think it'll be a good idea doing that system of leaving you right at the end of the campaign and then having to pay to kind of complete the final missions or the ending or something like that. I just don't think that will work. Then also we're getting Spec Ops, which is kind of a game that we had in MW3. It's kind of the equivalent of zombies, but AI tries to come and kill you and each wave gets more and more difficult and more and more players to kill. And it's kind of fun, but there's supposed to be a pay DLC for this game mode as well, which is going to be, going to be interesting to see how they're going to add pay promotion into spec ops and once again i don't know how this pay promotion is going to work whether it'll be separate between the campaign zombies and spec ops or it might just all be one massive thing that you buy and you get all of them together we don't know how it's going to work yet so this is kind of all we know so far we know we're probably going to get some sort of paid dlcs and season passes for all the game modes we're getting on a new call of duty and that will be within year two it's just whether it will be one bundle, so if you bought it, the DLC, you would get like the campaign, spec ops and multiplayer access. But then back to the campaign, because that's actually really interesting, this campaign theory, because it could really affect the game. I don't think it would work. If you're going to do a campaign, have it all in one. Or if they're going to do that thing where they leave you on a cliffhanger on the edge of your seat and you have to wait a year to do it again. That could be interesting, but then if they make any sort of money towards that or make it cost anything... That will just absolutely shut down the situation. They'll lose so much of the player base because every time, and this is with the DLCs in general, this is the only thing that worries me, especially with Call of Duty. When they do these paid DLCs for new maps, game modes, whatever it is, it just separates the player base way too much. And we've had it before where the player base is so separated because of paid promotions or paid game modes or maps or whatever, and it never really works. I love paid DLCs from the previous games, but you don't want to make it too important where people won't buy it or whatever but my opinions on this whole situation the campaign one is interesting because that can completely change the game i reckon they should just do it all in one say year one have the full campaign or if they're going to leave you on the edge of your seats and kind of on a cliffhanger then make it free for year two because it's going to be really annoying going through the whole campaign this year and then having to complete some final missions next year and having to pay for them i just don't personally think that will work i think with multiplayer the only worry is it always separates the player base because you always have those players playing the new DLC maps, but you have those players that don't want to spend money on the game, which is fair enough, and then just stick to the maps that were released when the game came out. So the only worry is, 
it could separate a player base but but having some sort of paid promotion or paying for extra like content within the game i think would be a good idea i don't think it'd be too bad because old school call of duty used to do it every year and it worked it was really fun getting the new maps and the zombie maps even though zombies isn't in this game but they can make it work with spec ops hopefully